I'm gonna assume that you already know how to play Visser cleanup detail and you're here to get those sweet extra completion percentages from filling out the paperwork in each level. If you don't already know how to play, check out William Strife's guide on how to play Visser cleanup detail. Link is down in the description. Anyways, on to the video. So to start off, the main reason you would want to fill out the paperwork is to get a better completion percentage. Please note that the paperwork isn't actually mandatory to complete the levels or get employee of the month. Paperwork has two different input fields, checkboxes and text fields. For the checkboxes, they're pretty straightforward. Just click on the boxes that apply to the question. For some of the boxes, they will have correct answers, meaning that the responses will be graded. The graded checkboxes mainly include the death particulars for each body found. You can either deduce the death particulars yourself, or you can look at the posts written by Margaret Bean. If you look at the game's wiki, it has a lot of information on how to deduce the death particulars. Other than that, the other checkboxes are only graded on completion, so you can put whatever you want to. They're pretty much just survey questions. For most of the text fields, they're open-ended questions, so the game doesn't grade you on accuracy because, well, it can't. You can fill them up with whatever you want, or you can copy and paste a lot of text. It's up to you to decide. There is one text field that is recommended you don't fill out, and that is the union report. There are actually two parts to the union report. The first part is the union identification number, which you do want to fill out. Just put in whatever you want in there. If you press 5, you'll open up your personal log. In the bottom left, you can see your employee number. You don't actually have to punch in that number. It's just there for decoration, I guess. The second part of the union report is the actual report. This is basically just a complaint box. If you don't know what a labor union is in real life, According to Merriam-Webster, it's an organization of workers formed for the purpose of advancing its members' interests in respect to wages, benefits, and working conditions. Labor unions work to get higher wages and better working conditions for workers, which causes problems for the company. Because of this, filling out the union report will deduct points from your score, which I find to be funny. For the confirmed articles, they do have correct answers. Basically, the closer you are to the correct answer, the more score you will get. So if you incinerate 500 items and you estimate that you incinerated 480, you will get close to full marks for it. You can find the correct answers by looking at the Steam Guide by Margaret Bean, or you can deduce them yourself. Do note that the number of incinerated items is obviously different for everyone. To find this out, you can either painstakingly count every single item that you dump into the incinerator, or you can open up your save file and search up how many items you've incinerated. This process goes into much more detail in Margaret Bain's Steam post, so I suggest you check that out. So, after finally filling out all of the paperwork and clocking out, you can view the incident report in your office. Note that the incident report will only tell you how accurate your report is and not what you got right or wrong. Go ahead. Bask in the glory of your 100% scores, and enjoy playing Viscera Cleanup Detail. Anyways, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.